Hi, this is Jonathan from Wise Apps Development. In this video, I will be demonstrating version 1.3 of the Flick Widgets application for Android. Flick Widgets brings you the power of Android at the flick of your wrist. In the My Widgets tab, you will find four different directions for which you can assign a widget. As of now, there are three widgets available, the Volumes widget, the People widget, and the Brightness widget. If the selected widget has a little wrench icon next to it, that means you can click on it to configure some different options. You can be doing anything on your phone and Flick widgets will always be available. For example, I'll open up my Google Plus application and access the widgets from there. Now let me show you how the Flick action works, starting with a left flick to show my people widget with some of my closest friends. There are several different ways that you can dismiss the widget. For example, I can simply flick back in the opposite direction and it will slide away. I can also touch anywhere on the screen outside of the widget to get rid of it. A third way is to simply click the, black, the back button. And lastly, I can click the little X in the upper right hand corner. Next, I will flick back to show the other people widget I have set up with some of my colleagues. If you set the people widget to more than one flick direction, you can configure them with different contact groups and different behaviors. For example, one of your people widgets might open their contact page when you click on their picture, while another will dial them directly on the phone. Next, I will flick right to show the Volumes widget, where you can adjust the various volume streams no matter which app you are in. So if you want to change your ringer volume instead of your media volume while you are listening to music, you can now do that with the flick of your wrist. Finally, I will flick forward to access the Brightness widget. This will allow you to adjust your screen brightness or toggle the Auto Brightness option. Now if you go out in the sunlight and can't see your screen well, you can quickly brighten it. You also have a lot more control over your battery life if you actively manage the screen brightness. Well, that's all for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please send me an email at jonathan at wiseappsdev.com. I hope you enjoy the app. I will be working on many new features and widgets, so keep a lookout. Thank you very much.